Afternoon, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Late last night there in Illinois, there was a magnitude 2.6 earthquake at 10.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Yeah, it's uh, rare to have earthquakes in this location. You see, I got some of them drawn out. This in green here is what's called the Illinois Basin. It was formed during uh, the time when the United States was originally going to pull apart. Yeah, we got uh, new, the uh, mid-continent rift. Did you feel this earthquake last night? There was one report sent into USGS. Going to the felt reports, it was um, close to a decanter. I don't know if they got the location. No. So it probably felt like a slight vibration. It was 10 point, almost 11 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. As the earth magnetic field gets weaker and weaker, we're going to see more and more earthquakes. I do have three of them over here that are more recent. Let's see, we got a 2.1. Um, that was on August 15th. And then we got a 2.6. That was on August 17th. And then we got a 2.4. Let me bring this up so we can see it. Um, that was on April 11th. The largest earthquake, I believe, for Illinois was back in 1968. That was down here. That was ev the first ever recognized earthquake for Illinois. That was a magnitude 5.3. They're claiming that is the largest earthquake. There was another one in 1795. That was the first ever recorded earthquake, but this 1968 earthquake was the largest. Because of so much sediment, yeah, it was felt over a very large area, affecting over 23 states. And because of that earthquake, that's when they discovered, for the first time, they didn't know this fault zone ran through here, called the Cottage Grove Fault Zone. It kind of wraps around Hickstone. I talk about Hickstone. That's an ancient volcano. It extends from um, Perry County all the way down here to, um, let's see if I can find the name of a town here for you. Old Shawnee Town, um, but there is parts of it that does extend uh, kind of to the south. There was suspected uh, fault zone during this area because of um, coal mining, and it was first reported that there was a possible fault zone back in 1907. In 1925, a man named Butts actually quite accurately drew out the fault system. It was probably for the uh, coal industry, and he's the one that named it the Cottage Grove Fault System. Um, yeah, there's Grove Center. I don't see Cottage Grove on here, but I guess most geologists probably didn't take notice. Yeah, they get a lot of data from um, underground mining, you know, from gas and oil doing exploration drills. It wasn't until 1968 that that they actually took notice of this fault system. Yeah. There is a lot that is not um, put out to students of geology. I had one geology student write me when I talked about Hickstone, this volcano in this area, uh, that she had never even heard about it. It was never taught. Now, the mid-continent rift system, which is causing the stretching here, we started and failed to split North America apart into two pieces about 1.1 billion years ago. It is the biggest failed rift system ever discovered. You know, there are other failed rift systems. There's one um, there by uh, California. Until recently, geologists believed that the Greenville Front, that is 
I believe this in yellow. Oh, no, blue, excuse me, blue, right there. They believe that that fault system halted the mid-continent rift growth. It marks where another continent collided with North America after the mid-continent rift formed. Somehow, the idea developed that the Greenville Front extended south into the U.S., cutting off the mid-continent rift in southern Michigan. Now, with ground-penetrating radar, they are able to see that the rift system is actually quite large. Yeah, it actually extends, uh, let me show you here if I got another picture, all the way down to Kansas and I believe also Arkansas and Oklahoma. That's what I got drawn out here in yellow. And there's another, yeah, Oklahoma right there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, and then all the way down here to... Um, uh, Mississippi, Arkansas, and uh, Louisiana. So like I keep telling you guys, you need to be prepared. We're seeing more and more earthquakes and ancient fault zones that are being reactivated as our Earth's magnetic field weakens. Yep. And I read a paper the other day how they now believe that because the Earth's magnetic field has weakened to such an extent that if we have a large coronal mass ejection similar to the Carrington event, that actually could cause the uh, magnetic field here on Earth to flip. And yeah, the effects of that would be great. Yeah, lots of earthquakes probably, volcanic eruptions, yeah, all kinds of devastation. So I have three monitors I showed you before the different monitors that I downloaded um, from that area. I did not see this earthquake because it was so small um, from the new Madrid fault system. But you can see here we got um, two that are marked in red that are not being reported. Let me go, let me make that one bigger. And let's go to the seismic signature. Yeah, slow moving earthquake. And there's the other one. Let's extract that. Yeah, this is all fault movement here. Okay, and do we have anything else on here? I've been watching this area for several days. Let me make this smaller. And then I got another one which had some marked in red right there. I couldn't really find um, the exact line that these earthquakes were on because they were slow moving earthquakes which we are having because, the, yeah, the whole basin is being pulled apart once again. That's my opinion. Let's see these slow-moving earthquakes. And let's go to the seismic signature. Uh, let's go over a little bit farther, and I'll just extract that. Now, that there is a volcanic tremor, and as I talked about before, um, this rift system goes all the way down to, yeah, where they got magma under the ground. See, that's harmonic there. And these are not being reported either, which is not surprising. All right. It went small. I mean, let me go make this come down and see what it was showing when I pulled the files. This was um, a few hours ago when I pulled the files. Probably at least two hours ago. But you can see, yeah, the heated water gases. Someone was saying, because I was talking about... um. Radon is often detected. An increase in radon gases comes up prior to an earthquake. And someone was telling me that there, um, that radon detectors are required by law in uh, many of the homes. Yeah, I did not know that. So that was some information. There's some more marked in red. Somewhere over here it looks like. Looks like up there, right there. And let's look at the seismic signature. Yeah, again, this is fault movement here. And then the other monitor is this one right here. Now, this is from the correction facility. Let me go to my map. So up over here, we have New Madrid. I believe this is the, uh, yeah, that's the correction facility. That's one of the monitors. And that's the other one that I'm using. 
and this one right here, S-T-A-M. Yeah, and we got different faults here. So the earthquakes that I showed you, that they did not report, they're probably just small microquakes, slow-moving earthquakes, um, are within this area more than likely. And because this area has so much sediment that has filled in over the centuries, yeah, large earthquakes um, would travel a great distance and it would cause a lot of damage. Let me pull this up, go up to where that earthquake is. Yeah, this whole area drawn out in green. Um, that is the Illinois Basin, which is all filled in with sediment. So did you feel this earthquake? Let me know. How long did it last? Like I said, it was probably just a light vibration that you felt. More likely, there's another fault in this area. Um, yeah, the coal mine maps probably show it. But USGS doesn't have it on there. So please share your information. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please share. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my um, channel, as always. Um, I wish you guys to be prepared. I, I care about you a lot. I don't want anything to happen to you or your children or your grandchildren. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.